chaos the Biden regime is creating in Afghanistan at the border in Congress, it's easy to overlook the smaller things that actually explain the big things. So I want to take a moment to focus on one of the most disgusting comments made by any Democrat on any topic this week, or in fact for a long time. It came from Jen Psaki. Here it is. There are some, and I'm not sure if this is the case in this report, who argue that in the past, companies have passed on these costs to consumers. I'm not sure if that's the argument being made in this report. We feel that that's unfair and absurd. What you just saw was the authentic voice of the smug, entitled, out of touch, arrogant elite of someone who's never created a single job in her entire life. And there's no clue about the stress and struggle of starting and running a business. Check out Jen Psaki's resume on Wikipedia. It's kind of amazing, actually. Mostly just one long list of deputy press secretary and spokesperson and communications director and whatever for one Democrat non-entity after another. Over two entire decades, the sum total of Jen Psaki's private sector experience is a couple of years at Swamp lobbying firms and on CNN. What does she know about what it's like to actually run a company, scrabbling to put financing in place, finding good people, making enough money to pay them and take care of them, managing overheads and expenses, getting customers through the door, fighting off competitors, worrying the whole time they could all come crashing down and you're accountable, you're responsible. I've done that multiple times here in America, back in England. How dare Jen Psaki call it unfair and absurd for Americans to try and keep their businesses afloat in the face of assaults from Democrats, stupid, cruel, anti-enterprise policies. What does Jen Psaki know about any of this? What do any of them know? Look at Susan Rice, the Clinton administration, the Obama administration, the Biden administration, the Brookings Institution, the UN. Look at Pelosi's career, DNC member, Northern California party chair, California party chair. San Francisco Convention Host Committee Chair, Democrat Senatorial Committee Fundraising Chair, Member of Congress for nearly 35 years. And of course, Biden, the worst of them all. Nothing but a leech on the wealth-creating engine of America for over 50 years. He's never had a proper job in his life. Oh, apart from facing down corn pop as a lifeguard one summer back in the 60s, Biden's been nothing but a machine politician since he ran for county council in Delaware in 1970. These people make me sick. They think business is just a piggy bank for government schemes that feed their own vanity. Look how bountiful we are, giving money to families and children. Aren't we good? Not like those business people who are unfair and absurd. What's unfair and absurd is Jen Psaki, Susan Rice, Nancy Pelosi, Biden, aimlessly go on about nurses and doctors, the heroes in the public sector, the teachers, their donors, by the way. And yes, of course, some public sector workers really are heroes, including the ones the Democrats constantly insult, like police officers. But here are some other Americans who are heroes. The small town shopkeeper whose family business has been at the heart of their community for generations, who was forced by the Democrats to close its doors while Target stayed open. The local restaurant owner who employs local kids and sponsors Little League. The independent auto mechanic who keeps our cars and trucks on the road. These are the heroes who make everything else in America possible, not just through what they do, but because of the jobs they create, the wealth they create. That's what pays for everything else. These are the heroes who actually pay Jen Psaki's salary, who pay for the job security and luxury pensions of Biden and Psaki's precious public sector. Jen Psaki revealed the true ugly face of today's Democrats. They are the party of the public sector for the public sector. And if you're not part of it, you're nothing to them. It is truly contemptible. I'm Steve Ducey. Yeah, that's a fact. <clears throat> I worked for LA County Health Department for almost nine years, and that was like a <laughs> total slacker job. You know, really, you just do what you're told. There isn't really much to it. You get your paycheck, you get your mileage check, you get your retirement, you get everything. You have no concept of how money really is created. Then I became a rancher. Well, I also bought and sold some apartments, entrepreneurship, made some money, bought some land, pioneered an avocado ranch, and I did that for 25 years, building customers and, you know, and obviously constantly fighting the county or some agency for something you did or didn't do. Anyway, good one for Steve Hilton. Thank you. Bye.